All right, if you're out there and you're thinking of becoming an LPN and the very first time you tell an RN, I'm going to become a nurse, I'm going to be an LPN, nine out of ten times that RN is going to say, why? Why even bother? Don't even think about becoming an LPN. And you think in the back of your mind, you say, yeah, but it's shorter prereqs, it's a shorter program, it could be easier to get into, and I'm still going to be a nurse. Why? would this RN not want me to become an LPN? I know, I heard it myself when I was in school to become an LPN, or when I was even doing my prereqs to become an LPN. And to some of us who don't have the luxury of waiting too long to take all these prereqs, or whatever these classes may be, the LPN program looks phenomenal to us. Why in the world would these RNs not tell us to go to become an LPN? Typically, unless they were an LPN to begin with, RNs will always tell you, don't even bother, don't worry about becoming an LPN. And why is this? Number one reason, these are, you know, in my opinion, number one reason is if you do have that management ability, that leadership ability, the ability to just become the greatest charge nurse of all time, you're not really going to be considered. Now, could you be a charge nurse or a team lead or, or even a DON as an LPN? Yes, it is possible, I'm going to say in quotes, however, the route to become management as an LPN is much, much, much harder than that of even just an ADN. LPNs have to jump through more hoops to prove that they are better just simply because of the title. And RNs know this. RNs who've been experienced know this. They've seen people who are phenomenal LPNs just not make management, not climb the ladder simply due to that title. So yes, that is true. If you want to become management, if you have that ability, it's going to be much harder unless you have that ADN already, even just the ADN, not even the BSN. Number two, everyone always hears the rumors. They've, they've, they've even come true in the past. I've seen it happen. We're going to get rid of the LPNs one day. Everybody says, we're going to get rid of the LPNs. We're going to, we're going to get rid of them. We're not going to have them anymore. In five years, LPNs will be gone. In 10 years, LPNs will be gone. Everyone keeps hearing the rumors. And even I've seen units themselves actually take LPNs off the unit completely. I've seen it actually happen. Everyone hears the rumors about the LPNs. Oh, they're going to be gone. Oh, they're obsolete. Oh, we're not going to use them anymore. That, that rumor is sort of not as loud as it used to be, uh, especially since the pandemic has started. But yes, that's, that's been a rumor for a long time. And everyone keeps saying, oh, you know, in five years, LPNs will be gone. In 10 years, LPNs will be gone. You know, all you can do is, you know, work at a nursing home, LPN. You're not going to be able to do anything, LPN. And so the, a the RNs say, why would you even bother? In five years, LPNs are going to be gone. They're not, they're not going to exist anymore. Number three reason that they just really don't care that you become an LPN, and this is in my opinion, sort of a personal matter. Some of them don't like the fact that you went to school for a shorter amount of time and you have the same job that they do. Now, yeah, you're probably not making the same pay. That's, that's very true. You're probably not going to get paid the same at all. But some people have a problem with the fact that you went to school for less time and then you're still on that same unit with these individuals. Some people are just not happy that an LPN went to school, you know, especially the BSNs, to be honest with you, they really don't like the fact that you went to school for, for one year, in theory, one year, and they went to school for four years, and you're on the same unit doing the same thing. Probably not getting paid the same, keep that in mind, but doing the same job that that individual is doing. And then another reason, another reason why RNs will go ahead and say, don't become an LPN, is the pay. Yes. You start lower. You make lower on average than an RN. And you probably will not see the growth in a raise per year that an RN will see. That is very true. You are not going to make the same amount of money that an RN will, especially off the get-go. Now, once you've got several years underneath you, like if I personally was to go back and become an ADN right now, I would actually take a pay cut. But took me years to get to that point. That was not off the bat. Starting out, I started out at $16.50 an hour, and that was it, and that really wasn't much more than I was making as a CNA, 
However, it helped tremendously, believe it or not. The pay is much lower, and a lot of these RNs who see you struggling as a CNA or whatever it may be financially just want you to have better. They just want you to do better, and they say, just go ahead, take that extra year, take that extra two years, whatever it may be, become an RN. And yes, it is true you're going to make more as an RN than you are as an LPN, at least off the bat. But as I've discussed before, at this moment in time, I'm not hurting. I mean, I'm not broke. You know, I'm not rich, rich. By no means am I rich, rich. But, you know, we're not starving on the street. Everybody is fed. And we are living our best lives, if you will, as just an LPN. These are just some reasons that I know of, that I have personally seen, witnessed to, and heard about why an RN will always tell you, well, at least 9 out of 10 times, will always tell you, don't even worry about becoming an LPN. Don't even worry about it. Even though the prereqs are shorter and the course is shorter and you're still going to be a nurse at the end of it, don't even worry about becoming an LPN. And I'm going to tell you, make this decision yourself. I weighed the options. I fully understood that I was not going to make as much, and I took the chance anyways and became an LPN and have not looked back. It worked out great for me. It's worked out great for many of my colleagues, many people that I went to school with. Some people that I went to school with have bridged over. Even one girl I went to school with is now a uh, uh, FNP. Like, are you serious? We were in an LPN program together. Now you're a, a nurse practitioner? Yes. You can do it. You can go from LPN to FNP. You can go from CNA to FNP as long as you, you know, want to take the courses. It will take you longer if you do it the LPN route, but you can still do it. I hope it helps. I hope I gave somebody some encouragement. Maybe discourage people. I don't know. Let me know. Hope it helps. Thank you much.